It's hard because you have that BKB pierce disable with Pudge and stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, that works for me, yeah. So don't break Not... your carry? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's that first blood? Money. He, he wants, wants it more than anything else in the world. He's got a hammer. Boxy's trying to juke him, but there we go with a burning damage. Chrysalis needs one more tap in the back of the Marcy to get the first blood for secret. Yeah, you're not even losing that much in the lane right now. We're onto the, like, the second waves and it's pretty reset. He got like, yeah. Puppy moving out of position with two iron shells on them could easily kill him. Especially with a hero like Marcy, right? You know, in days gone past, we used to see the Spirit Breaker, the Earth Spirit, with this Dark Seer to play aggressively. Well, up at top, we'll take a peek into there as Rezo drops pretty low. Insania now trapped in the cogs and turned on, though. Very far up for Rezo, is going to keep him alive through the Maledict. And don't bring the DP down. And down bottom, they're going at it again. Chrysalis not going to land his Starbreaker, but a big Frost Blast with the shield, slowing the retreat from Liquid. And a big Creep Wave arriving. Zai, if he dies here, it's going to be losing out a lot of this wave. And Chrysalis, that tree block didn't quite work out for the Darks here. Another Frost Blast from Puppy gets it. Disposed back across the tower, but it's aggroed onto a range creep. So Chrysalis, he'll Starbreaker. Keep Boxy away. Puppy did still die in the end. But a good dive onto this Zai Darks here, keeping him down. Super close. They're going on Chrysalis. Oh, yeah. Ah, Chrysalis. Frost Shield. He's got a Fairy Fire. Oh, and Shell going to be doing too much damage here, though. He's got boots, but he's not fast enough to, to outrun Zai and Boxy. One more rebound will claim the kill on him. So a bit of recovery from Liquid. While in the mid lane, top rune spot, Lena finding the Witch Doctor with a Laguna Blade. Shadow Fiend. One raise, two raise. Maledict still there on the Lena. As a fairy fire. So you want to be able to build that hurricane pike, like four star, to keep yourself safe mm. and not have to rely on having to pop like a BKB if you get gone on. Oh, we're charging towards Chrysalis down bottom. The surge and rebound, allowing Boxy to close the gap. Starbreaker cancelled by the vacuum and Chrysalis getting blasted down while Nisha rotated here. Does kill off Zai with a Laguna Blade. But Liquid with a numbers advantage and now still having vision over Nisha. Top jungle, making sure Matumba Man doesn't have an easy access point back into his outpost area. A secret, firm grasp on his first 15 minutes. Zayat's eyeing up Matumba Man and gets the hook shot straight on top of them. Solar Guardian for good measure. Liquid, they're not going to be able to respond in time. They will jump forward with Boxy, but he's stunned. Mid-rebound now. The Chain Frost goes across to Insane. He doesn't bounce any further. Zayat has the Death Ward on him, and the wall is dropped onto him and Rezo. But Secret, they got the Pudge of the Marcy. Traded the Clockwork for it. They are super happy with how that went. Okay. And they want to go play back into bottom jungle. They see Rezo showing on wave. He's going to TP straight away. Pudge, hook. Oh, he lands it. But Sumba Man, he knew exactly where Reza was standing. And in comes Boxy with Insania. Burst through the Death Prophet. That's the window they open up for themselves. What the? Did he even have a ward? Or was he doing it on a wave? Sorry. He, so he, he ran back from the wave. And I'm not sure if they they just saw him start to TP. But it was, it was good for Matu, whichever way you look at it. And they're going for Zayas now as well. That cast bouncing back onto him. Frost Shield trying to give a bit of safety here as he hook shots in towards Boxy and the Chain Frost bounces off the creep camp in towards Boxy back to Zai as Insania does finish off Zayats in the end. Another couple of liquid kills. What do they amount to? Like Someone like the Lena, like the DP. You can hold them in place for a long time, but in the mid lane, a Solar Guardian coming in, the safety net given by Boxy, disposing SF away. And will Yules up the Marcy now as Chris Liss vacuumed into the wall. Requiem comes out onto Death Prophet and Resolution. Oh, he pops his one. Spirit Siphon's up. The Rezo DP still alive. And as is Chris Liss, they do finally kill them off, though. Insania getting the final blows on them as they trade two cores and the big rebound. Boxy is straight back in on them. Zayas has the hook shot. Where's the rest of Liquid, though? They're surging forward, trying to chase. Oh, the cog trapping Zayas inside. And Zayas still fine. Oh, is that an evenness trade? They lost two cores, or at least one core on Liquid. Felt decent for Liquid. Two cores now. Sai oh, gets away, and Puppy the one to die. Mickey, he can't face against Nisha's Lena from range, and Zayas has gone back in with the cogs on Insania, but the right-click attacks onto Mickey, kill him! 
The BKB wasted. Lena with a long range right clicks. Take him down. For a long drawn out fight. Lost yeah, it instead. Not quite able to cinch it. it. It is a lot of spells though that you have to use just to chain stun him for long enough to kill him before his BKB gets off. I think if Lena. And now oh, Rezo. Four staff fuels. Zayas trying to get him out of danger, but they've got dismember from this. This BKB Pudge. Rezo dodges the hook, but the Voodoo Switcheroo, the Death Ward, are going to kill him off. Chain Frost over to the other side as Boxy rebounds away. Not going to allow for any more bounces. And another swift move in, going to get a one for one trade, but it's DP for Witch Doctor. So Liquid, they move in, they move out. One strike, and they're gone back to farming. Nice pickoff, but they're still on Aegis. I think Secret's still very confident. Yeah, and honestly, I, I say it's a DP for a Witch Doctor. Usually, I think, hey, it's a. Yes, favored killing off that DP, but Matu now falling in the mid lane. Counter caught out by Chrysalis and Nisha. No saving him as Zai tried to come in, but Mech on cooldown. And no counterplay for Liquid. That's a big victory now for Secret. And yeah, Witch Doctor had a kill streak. So that's quite. A... You see now Matu going for that armor, going for that Shiva's guard. Maybe Darkseer could look for a Halberd as well. Anything that stops Nisha hitting. Yeah. If, if they can get it off before his BKB. We'll jump in. They find Puppy. A couple of hits in from Mickey, but he didn't get his BKB off. Wasn't expecting the immediate jump from Zayat. Insania casking back, but he's going to get chased down to the ends of the earth here. Voodoo Switcheroo buys the three seconds of time, but the Starbreaker perfectly placed as they buy back on Witch Doctor SF. Matu's in with his BKB dismember. The wall is dropped, but Secret, they just stand their ground and continue fighting. Nisha gets the crits he needs. A double kill for Lena, and they're chasing for dogs here. Yule's up from Rezo, ghosts are flying, backpack won't work. Secret tracking back to find that Darkseer kill, and now the buyback's from Liquid. What do you do? You're thinking about this Requiem, Mickey fake pumping it. Back, but Lena, not afraid of anything. In comes Matu with a blink BKB, trying to aim it onto this niche of Lena, and they get the Requiem off from Mickey this time around. Taking the Aegis. Inside the wall, Lena is still standing there and a great hook from Matu times it perfectly. They've got the Lena kill they needed. Taking her down is huge for Liquid as they'll find Rezo as their secondary kill as well. They hold their high ground, but the rest of Secret, they're bailing. They've, they've got Vision on them. They know he's got Butterfly already. Yeah. I'm just thinking, Pudge does not naturally buy Lincoln's breaking items. He's very much a fan of these just big... Get in your face, items, and god, Nisha's very deep right now. All the two hits, finds the kill on Puppy, but Zai being focused down gets off his greaves, buys a bit of time, but the crits land. 500 apiece from Alina and opening up onto Matu, dismembering and healing off a of Chrysalis, but he's stuck there. Liquid now down two cores, and Dark's here with no buyback. This could lead to another lane of barracks, and this is going to give Secret the chance to smoke back. Do they go in the pit or do they go for the fight? They're going to hold the high ground. They've got this Radiant Observer Ward up there and they'll see people coming. Liquid know how important this moment is here in game one, but Matu, where did he go? Just disappears, the back wall's dropped, but Boxy shredded by Lina, standing at ground. Oh, Boxy fighting back a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be enough with a Requiem Fear, pushing Nisha away. The four staff and Glimmer gives a bit of safety, but they get the kill. Lina's down, Chrysalis gonna about and follow. As Shadow Fiend, this Mickey big boy, slapping into Team Secret. The wall is still there and causing issues for them. Three down, Roshan open, and all Liquid lose, really. Here's that Pudge and Marcy, and Matu buys back. Have one on the bottom cliff as well. So it's very deep wards, but not ones that cover your jungle. They're going to smoke in because they saw Lena on their vision. And Puppy, they, they see a lot right now. Do they know Rezo's in the pit, though? The scythe from Zai starting on Puppy's Lich. Two hits, all it takes. Dismember on Rezo as well. Liquid start this fight well, but the Abyssal Blade, the pushback. All the disarm on the SF can't turn to fight. Matu still in the pit, hooking back Rezo as this wall. It has blocked the rest of Secret from arriving. Boxy rebounds over the top, and Matu's still stuck inside. Rezo gets through, but dies. The big crit lands. Mickey turning to fight Zayats and Crystalis, but they've got their BKBs up still. Doesn't matter, though. Liquid have battered them into the ground. Lena now, feared up. Nisha tries to hurricane pike away, but it's nowhere near enough. Make it with a monster kill streak. Oh boy, Liquid. Uh, everything went so... Uh, Capitan Popan being tested at every step. Zayats. Jetpack in. 
Who's he going to see? Zai vacuums too. Gets his BKB out early and did drop the wall, but Chrysalis is there with his Abyssal Blade and the hook shot. They've locked in Zai. Dead, but with buyback. As SF going to get four staff double time back towards his base. Has a BKB and a Requiem up as Mount 2 charges straight onto Chrysalis. They found the Dawnbreaker, but she's got the ability to counteract with the Starbreaker. Still has BKB and Aegis as well. So when she respawns, they've got tools here. Nisha dragged back in, but Laguna Blaze down onto the barge. Vacuum in. Zai has no wall now, though, as the Death Ward is pretty big for Insaney with the Aghanim Scepter. They're doing serious damage to the Secret. And McKay with the Requiem aiming for Chrysalis. He eats up the cheese and he's going to Solar Guardian away. Matu couldn't quite grab him. Secret somehow not losing anyone and Liquid forced a triple buyback. Maybe now they'll get the jetpack in clockwork, but the no! Asian. Oh! The throne? Oh my god, the throne is dying! Oh, Chrysalis though, dragged back on the dispose. Matumba man, the wall now dropped on him. The turn around Starbreaker again. Buying more time for the DP to arrive. But Liquid have Rezo surrounded. They've got Dismember here. Catch out the Death Prophet. And Dawnbreaker dead for two minutes. They've got buyback on DP. But the, the fear of your throne falling there required the TPs back. That was so scary. I was just like, not just dying. Well, oh. Jump, dispose back. Zayats inside the Ghost Scepter. Neon Disc pops. Vacuum in. Chrysalis is under the wall. Gets off his Starbreaker and bashes back Matu. So no dismember, no refresher for him. As the Exo from Rezo contending with the Marcy, but in comes Liquid. They're battering down on Crystalis. The Dawnbreaker's dead, and there's Death Ward. It shreds. Resolution's got to run. Zaya's Clockwork trapped on the northern side, destroyed by Boxy's Marcy. Boxy now has fully scaled into a hard hitting core. He has. You say that again. Oh. Boxy, not going to get hooked, walks into the pit, and Matu shows his face there. Roshan down to half HP, though. The vacuum wall. Zai. Three of them now trapped inside the pit, and he's just trying to focus down Roshan while Matu just dismembers into Zaya's clockwork. Try and catch and kill him while inside the Rosh, Nisha gets burst down by Boxy in the Death Ward. Oh, let it go! Beautiful from Liquid. Two heroes down with no buybacks, and this might just be game over. They've got the Lich, they've got the Rosh, they've got game one. Not quite. There are two buybacks, and Lena's still alive. But yes, they are very, very oh. crazy, dude. This, this witch log is cracked. He's well, just going to come back crack. into tier fours. The buyback there from the Lich. I mean, it's a 6v3, having Aegis and Cheese. They've got this sidekick talent now, giving the spell immunity over to Mickey. I'll glyph up the tier four towers for now, Team Secret. But Liquid, uh, what's stopping them? Just going for more. Yeah. They're biting at the base. One tier four down. Frost Shield comes out from the Lich. Full buyback's doesn't, up on Liquid. Doesn't have the, the talent yet on the Lich, so there's no HP regen. And the Vacuum in, trying to drag Puppy and Rezo a bit closer. Matsu being focused, down by Nisha, but the throne is open. McKay getting the damage in onto it. Trying to bring down the big building as the buyback from Matsu comes in, kills Nisha, and there it is. Game over. Oh my god. That Rider, they picked Zeus, and I think they won mid. Bat died at five minutes as well. So I think Liquid have a pretty clear idea of how they want to play into the Batrider. HP this past two minutes. Chrysalis and Puppy also looking a little worse for wear while back into mid. Zayat's rotated, dodges the Thunder God's Wrath though. Gets away with murder here with a lasso on to Mickey, but still dying. And Mickey, oh my god, he survived. Three stacks of Sticky with a Flame Break on him. He will tick down in the end. Not even Insane's rotation can survive through that with so much damage from the Batrider. That dodge was sick. But getting away as well, uh, not getting away, sorry, but nearly getting away as well would have been so good for him, but luckily for Nisha, oh, he gets that little kill. He missed the spear this time, so the full oh. link and Puppy wrapped in behind him. Might even unlock a kill on Boxy here. There's a Courier and a Dark Willow to pick off, but he's going to take two hits to take him down and they can't close the gap. And now Mickey arrives, TP rotation back in. Chrysalis has that stick and he's got raindrops as well. So yeah, Mickey realizing not one they can keep chasing for. Well, up in the top jungle, insane here. And this is all a bit of breathing room for resolution. Yes, his idolons are going to die, but he's getting much more out of his lane now. The Venger started to rotate around. Zayas is forcing it. Snowball into Insania. But Mickey joins up with his captain with a, an onslaught of magic damage. And he'll take down Zayat's Tusk. Tusk. Zayat's Tusk? There. Zayat Tusk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and an arcane rune for Mickey as well. 
I okay. can't chase onto Nisha. Gets off his Firefly, but stunned up now. Lassos into Dark Willow. Thunder God's Wrath isn't enough to kill off the bat. And Mick is the one being turned around on. Puppy came in at the perfect time to allow the Bat Rider to give on chase with the Flame Break. They finish him off, and Puppy doesn't even die. Doesn't die, and Nisha is now very close to his boost of travel. It's only eight minutes, and he has a full wand of bottle. Puff of Vengeance right behind him. You try and go on him, he gets that swap. You, know, you try and smoke into him, Venge is breaking that smoke. Insania is just playing right now, knowing that Matu is the one at the most threat playing in that top jungle, which is where Secret ideally want to be playing. Uh, Steppy might... Uh, Steppy. P Puppy might have stepped forward a little bit too far. Steppy. <laughs> up he goes. Down up he goes. goes. Uh, those uh, those ramps and staircases. Not where he wants to be, and they will get the black hole onto Zai. He's going to be taken down here by the walrus puncher Zayats. Watu and Boxy were looking to latch on to the remnants of that fight, but not quite speedy enough across it through the jungle. As the Liquid actually start on the Roche themselves, but this is Secret's time. BKB Bat, smoked up with Puppy. Zayat's in with a Walrus Punch, aiming on to Mikkei Zeus. Are they trying to get him away here with a swap back and the Heavenly Jump, but the Lasso still comes in from Nisha. Midnight Pulse down on the ground as Boxy terrorizes back one. But Liquid struggling to, to really finish anyone off here. Finally, Puppy dies to the barrage of Matu. And Zai spearing away Zayats inside this pit. But Zai dead there as well. Not going great. We're hoping for better. And then should grab Yeah, that triple kill in the end. Actually, Gap closes onto Insania, who looked like he might have actually slipped away from them. Very aggressive when they have Black Hole coming back up. But it feels like with Lasso, you always have that opportunity to, to steal someone away if you can catch them by surprise. Oh, was I? That's Anisha. Smoke breaks. High ground vision. Dark will uh, into the Shadow Realm. A snowball forward trying to chase onto Matu here. We've got kill off Boxy quickly. The punch finding Gyro, but he's got BKB in the backup of Zeus. Swap around as Matu saved by Insania as Zai goes in. Maybe a bit of miscommunication there, but they're still going to get a couple of kills. Puppy and Zayats both trapped inside that Colosseum of Zai. And Nisha, he's back in with a lasso. He was able to hold it and still has his BKB, so he's straight onto Zai's Mars. BKB's up and doing an awful amount of damage to that Mars. Crystalis, and he's just still in hand, of course. And it feels like Liquid being dragged back and forth in this, this awkward team fight. Liquid up to now. Waiting behind their tier two. All five of them are together, so it feels like they're converging for a smoke or wanting to start a team fight. I do see Puppy, but he blinks on them. Centaur starts it. In comes Zayat, punching Zay around. Mars down to about half HP as they kill off the Centaur at that initiation. But look at this. They've actually caught up the Gyro, drag him back. Where's the swap? Where's the save? Matu gets his BKB off. As Zayat and Nisha do get blown up. A double kill from Atomic Man, and they trapped him in the arena. Zai comes back in. Round two of the fight. Kills him off. That's one way. <laughs> Secret. Ready for tier two, though. Zayas and Puppy in position to blink initiate onto Mickey. And there it is. With the Walrus Punch, Centaur stomp. Combo in, but the swap back out. Insania by his time. But Rezo, he's moving forward with his BKB up to straight up Black Hole onto Matuma Man. Chrysalis with the damage he's got. The onslaught comes. And Zai, defensive arena to try and spear back that Razor. Well, Liquid buy back on the Zeus, but he's blown up. He comes back in and dies immediately. Oh my god. Nice double damage rune for Chrysalis. Huge impact for Team Secret as they think. Can... Feeling it. It's, it's. And you're doing it into fog as well. You have to like split second react as soon as you see someone, but then they also have the reaction because they see you, and that's when they get their blink or their BKB. And now Boxy getting punched up. Shatter on TP, 100 HP remains, and the snowball to the creeps. Oh, Zayas, you're so clever. Gets the stun on the way through, and now you're down a hero for 40 seconds with Roshan alive. Oh, the, the They're way just back showing in. how versatile they are at initiating. The way back in, though. The blink, the spear. Zayas and Zai trading places. And the Mars. You'll feel the pain. There is a DD rune bottom, and maybe if Matu goes and gets his hands on that, there's a chance for Liquid, but they're down the Mars for 60 seconds. You go all in on your one hero, and that's when the 4P comes into play, and they protect you. All right, the, the, and that's that's it. You're looking for some 
maybe swap back into the base, but then... Matu, fourth staff, lasso, drag him, but the swap. Insania gets him back to safety. The turn on to Zayas now, the Thunder God's Wrath, Insania has died to the bat in the back. A jump onto the gyro though, forced his BKB out. Crystal is straight in there with a the static link, and then comes Resolution. The Black Hole to potentially just win the game. Catches the two big cores, and down goes Matumba Man. No buyback on the gyro as Zai is trying to kill off Rezo, but struggling. Chrysalis grabs the double kills, mid -game falls deeper in the base, and Secret, they swoop through. It is A triple just for so Razor. They catch them trying to push out the bottom wave. Five down, only one with buyback. And Liquid's base now in disarray. What can you do? Tier three top, two lanes down already. And Liquid are respawning. Team Secret holding Aegis for one minute on Crystalis. Liquid with one more chance to go with a blink initiation from Puppy. Finding Boxy and Nisha's there with a lasso on Zeus. Drag him straight through into Zayas' punch. The brawler comes out on top as Matu and Zai will get an arena down with a call down on top. But the snowball turnaround play from Puppy and Zayas counteracted by the fear. Great terrorize from Boxy to clear through a couple of kills. And in the back, Nisha is speared up against the side of the map. Caught out in the brambles and Liquid... We've seen this happen before. <laughs> the comeback is a potential opportunity here for them as they defend that. They all migrate back to their base, line drawn to push out top. Secret in a really good spot here, though. They've got base vision. They've got the catch on the Zeus. Nisha taking a lot of damage from that right click of the gyro. But look at Rezo. The perfect black hole catches them. But Matu turns. Satanic's up. He's got this rapier doing serious damage. But so is Chrysalis. Shredding through the gyrocopter. Cracking away at him. And Liquid now with no gyro, no rapier. Secret looking to close it out. Chasing towards Mickey Zeus. They've killed the remaining four. Chrysalis He's not going to die fountain for it, though. He goes for the buildings. Gets the rapier, picks it up. Zai blinks in. The static links out here, though. And Chrysalis turning and destroying the Mars. The Greek and Roman gods cannot stand against the electric power of Razor. And Boxy is going to get caught out with a flame break in the plasma field. Slow to a crawl. And an ultra kill for Chrysalis. <laughs> Chrysalis. And there's your GG. Game three incoming. We what knew a it was gonna Rezo happen. Is. Oh, here, like you mentioned, being able to connect to DP in her top lane, or she's on Dias a bot lane. Oh. Okay, that's greedy. But it's it's that hero, another hero that can stand and face. Just stops everything. Yeah, strength yeah. adaptive strike, really nicely done. I think if Nisha gets raindrops in this lane, he can literally never die. I don't even think he can die anyway, but... I can just... Fo focusing on CSing. Well, there's your first blood. Puppy down. And Boxy trying to deny himself the neutrals. Not successful, so they get the trade. Well, that's that kill lane from Liquid paying off dividends. Oh. He's dewatered a small camp, so has access to that now. Uh, be nice for Liquid to try and reset this... Lane all if they can drag the wave or are they going for kills? Yeah, I mean, Boxy and Zai in onto Puppy, rebound back across onto them. At the same time, bottom lane, Zayat's being brought down by Matu and Insania. Everywhere you look, it's Liquid charging towards targets. Mid lane, Mickey trying to kill off Nisha, nearly had it, but it gets turned on, has the shield crack. Tree dance to make sure he's not in a predictable area, making sure that they haven't pulled and he'll just go back to lane, wait for Puppy. And maybe Bot looks for Insania. He's pretty out of position right now. Yeah, swinging forward. Breathe fire. And dual breath even. Pretty annoying. But they've got Spirit Siphon and the tag team to deal with it. A little bit of bonus damage coming out. It's top lane. They get the Maledict Cask onto Zai. Secret battling back. A static link. Causing some issues. Along with that sidekick, the lifesteal, the turnaround, and Zai. He grabs himself a killing spree. It feels like the reason he stayed alive there was because of the sidekick you mentioned. Long route around. I think he might have caught a glimpse of Insania moving top as well. The Liquid bringing a fair few heroes up. 
up here to rebound in onto Crystalis. Cass gonna bounce back into the creep camp and as the Wukong's command, it surrounds Liquid. Crystalis still up and running, but that static link drained enough damage as Pango rolls and crashes in onto Zayas, but he's been pushed down to low ground. Boxy, he can't catch up to him and Zayas is gonna salve and clarity to stay topped up. The final moments of this roll, though. Mickey thinking about going for Puppy. Boxy does have his spells available, but that cask bouncing between them. Misses the rebound land onto the Witch Doctor. Now the Snowball catches up to him. Good swashbuckle from Mickey, but Boxy down. Monkey and Tusk for the Marcy, though. Going to feel decent for Liquid. I did lose their Razor at the start, though. That can't be forgotten. I think he got the kill on Crystal's fossil, at least. He did. Well, Mickey swashbuckles away from Crystalis, who grabbed the haste. Now Swash is down. There's Monkey King. Some serious damage. Now Secret, the ones who feel happy about it. <laughs> yeah, they're just fighting back. Nice TP from him to snap that uh, power that tower and open up the map. They can bring a lot of heroes to this fight, and it's easier for them to bring Mickey than it is for Secret to bring more, I feel. Yeah, and they go straight back up into top. Crystalis having all this damage drained again, tries to heal up off the bound strike and looks like he succeeds. Now with resolution rotating, Zai, the one about to die, does take one down with him though. A secret so happy to respond with numbers when Liquid make these moves. Oh. Or top, if that's like your most important thing, then sure, but you need to give Monkey King a space to farm and he, like the only person that can really lane against the lone druid right now is DP. Looks like they'll just pressure mid instead to try and force some rotations there and take space. Yeah, swooping in. Zayas makes the move towards Insania. I'll take him down quickly, giving the spree to Nisha. I've got Zai TP rotating in, though. A little trapped in the trees and couldn't get a latch on to anybody, while Resolution now has to deal with a Marcy. Unleash and Dispose, getting on top of the Death Prophet. Good rebound with a stun in there, but Rezo, he takes her down before he dies. Nisha getting a double kill, looking for a little bit more. Zai still has his Eye of the Storm going. Oh, Zayat being focused down by Mickey. Dodges a bit of the swashbuckle damage with a nice little snowball. And Nisha into Razor mode, thinking about his reinitiation, but doesn't have the backup he requires. Another little move there with that adaptive strike, but so close. Yet so far from getting the kill. To defend, so they don't have to commit Lone Druid and they can just keep him mid. And yeah, we're just gonna see them look to try and take fights now around top until they can rush. Yeah, Zayas and Puppy defending their jungle with everything they've got, but the rebound away. Gives Boxy the space until Crystalis comes back with Jingu stacks and a boundless strike. He'll kill both supports. Ah, oh, it's huge for Secret. I guess they lose tower, but they fight back and keep control of this jungle. Because the natural move there from Liquid, right, is to take tier one. Side of the map, like the bot side of the map at all. Because then they will just hit the rush. I love what Crystalis is doing. He jumps across the trees and then makes sure he finds himself a spot where he's not going to get seen by the tier one or anything. As Liquid actually just initiate into that jungle again. Diving in towards them, the snowball landing on Boxy. Death Ward now cancelled with the death of the Witch Doctor. And Resolution annihilated by Liquid, even within the Wukong's command. They only kill Boxy there. And now they're going to find Zayats in the tail end of the fight as well. Nisha is in Razor mode, draining away at the Matumba Man Bear. A bit of a weird animation there as Jakiro gets jumped upon and Nisha keeps on chasing. They'll find the Spirit Bear. A buyback from Jakiro though means Liquid wants to keep on fighting. I don't have Rolling Thunder. Not quite got that four staff. We've seen these Witch Doctors who have been able to go a bit greedier and get something like a bling. Yeah, he had it queued up for a long while. Make it straight in on top of him. Witch Doctor and the Tusk. There is a little voodoo switcheroo as the Witch Doctor pops into the Nether Realm for a second or two. Zayas, the second focus of choice, as Puppy does get blown up by the bear in the end, and Liquid proving they can slaughter supports. Mickey on a mega kill streak, finding Zayas in the end, and Secret. Well, they've been halted. The Exo expended. Liquid with another resound. It's just to give Crystalis this farming pattern through the enemy jungle back to his triangle without dying. Well, I'll tell you who does have a BKB. Resolution and Crystalis. They've got them and it looks like they're ready to fight. The bear down to half health already and they're straight in on top of Matu with a Wukong's command focusing the real hero down. And Zai is just going to die. Aegis claimed up. And Rezo and Nisha, they're surrounding this Razor. Liquid go a step too far, looking for that tier two. And th this is where the fear really does strike. Liquid gonna lose a big core heroes. Insania, another one to fall there. Sorry, Gary. I want to amend my statement. Uh, what Secret should do here is TP in and <laughs> fight. They are so much stronger. Oh my God. You reset the fight. You can't fight into these. It's, it's, it's much too hard. Dyer's top tower 
I was looking at Matu and wondering why he's got three mangoes. Like, why has why is Alondra bought mangoes? But nah, he's got a shovel. He's been digging them up. Oh, uh, secret. Oh, in we come. The Death Lord's down. They're blowing up Rezo. Nisha arriving on the scene, though. Turns into Pango. BKB'd up. Zai with a link. And this remaining second of DD. Nisha strength shift for the bash. The stun catches him mid TP. Can't get away. Mickey with a double kill. Four heroes down on the side of Secret. Give it as good as they take, as they lose four top, take four bot. And where do they move now? Like, there's no Roshes. Could be smoke into smoke. Liquid just holding onto their tier one for now, with Matu showing up front. Oh, they'd love a kill on Mickey. Looks like the line is drawn and the smoke is thrown out. Mickey, smoke breaks, rolling thunder. No, the punch first. In they go on the Pango. Take him down, no buyback for him. Razor and Lone Druid, they do bring Zayas down to his knees while Zai charges forward towards resolution. Aegis in hand, now claimed up. Insania yeah, gonna throw the Macropire down onto the Morphling. And Nisha with no waveform now, disposed back into the waiting arms of Matu, but he's got a snowball save. Zayat keeping this morph alive a little longer as they turn back onto the bear. Now good sons and a stun from Boxy landing back in on them. They kill the spirit bear. Resummon's available, but Matu is dead. Chrysalis now can chest forward. He's got Poppy behind him. Zayat with a blink, punch him up, kill Jakiro, and shift into tier one. Another fight where Liquid have the Aegis and feel stronger, but Secret out executing them. Crystalis was on top of a tree and he turned into a kobold. So we just, we just yeah. had a kobold sitting atop a tree. A little, I was watching little, it. Little cutie. All right, Secret, yeah. go for the smoke play. Liquid, they're not quite in position. Insania a bit separated here from his team and a jump from Chrysalis feared back though. Zayat's in with a snowball punch. Oh, the witch dog just shredded by the bear and so Zayat's Matsuma man. He opens up on them but the Wukong's command is going to zone them away. Secret chasing in with Nisha. Razor dying quickly. Scardi slow, too much to contend with. And Nisha's able just to 1v3 in this fight. Forward facing, keeping Liquid at bay. Liquid going to come back for this. Outpost being taken, the scan connected and they see all three. TP bottom from Rezo. Secret wants to recoup, regather their forces. Zai straight onto Rezo. Blink in with a static link. And the bear has found the witch doctor on the left side of the fight while Mickey rolls up. The thunder's coming. Zai is about to die as Nisha. The BKB canceled out a little bit by the bash as the vessel's on the bear. Forced back now, Liquid. They refreshed up over on their Monkey King. He's being demolished though. First life down. Liquid out of here. Rezo with his BKB and they can't contend with Nisha's Morphling. They're playing this back and forth so beautifully. Chrysalis still up and running. A uh, nice snowball save as the Death War takes down Boxy. McKay back in towards Rezo's DP and the bear shredding through her. Another pick off for Liquid, but they're losing out Hero so quickly. Another bear down. The actual hero dropping to the Crypt Swarm and Secret with a huge fight. Five heroes down. Zai was forced to buy back and didn't even rejoin. Top tower do, you, do you know the one? With no, with oh, I guess rolls back up already. Actually, he's level twenty-five. But will they see the? Will we see them just force this high ground with the double ring? Wait, they're jumping in. Puppy clipped by the ice path. The rolling thunder. He's got it on disc and Voodoo Switcheroo though. So Puppy buying time for his team while top lane is pushed in by Nisha. The racks are falling and Liquid. This team fight didn't play out as they expected. They need the glyph just to defend the ranged barracks. Secret smoke and mirrors fighting mid, pushing top, still waiting to see if Liquid show. And Resolution with Nisha, thinking about the go forward. They've stunned up Boxy, BKB out of the Marcy. Zai, he's allowed this Nisha Morphling to turn into the Razor. The bear is opening up on him, and Nisha's dead. Chrysalis inside the Wukongs, though. A real struggle to deal with the Monkey King now. Liquid getting chased back to the edge of the Earth. Zai, hunted by Poppy and Rezo. The Death War trying to give the vision. The Creep Waves will allow it to happen. And now they can move into the final building that matters in the base. There, apart from the Eon Disc, which he does reassemble. And Zai beats My back God. on Chrysalis. 30 seconds for the Aegis to expire, but a kick back on the bear. This is the resummon. That's the big deal. They'll kill it off as well. Scardi slows enough. And now Liquid, without their primary source of damage, losing Zai in the meantime. Dead for two minutes. And the Death Ward is going to help clear out Insania's Jakiro. He buys back. But you're in a four versus five now. Marcy with the Unleashed, blinking forward, disposing Nisha. They know, like you said, that's the target to go for. But Poppy, look at it go! 
getting the death ward in onto Matsu. Rezo charging forward. The DP forcing Liquid to fight around their tier fours as Chrysalis has the big Wukongs and Poppy with a move forward. He's going to stun up my man. Savage Raw is going to buy him at a time, but the tier fours are falling quickly. Nisha and Chrysalis breaking the buildings. Liquid call GG. What a series. Three games of madness.